Hello friends and allies and welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna visit where hyenas located here in Darashia. This is one of the greatest hunting areas. Uh, it's kinda equal to the ravenous lava lurker, but here you will gain some experience and profit while it's only experience in the lava lurkers. So here is a great area to be hunting and the area is kinda large as well. So if you play on a crowded server with a high respawn rate, you can most likely share this area with a couple of people. In this area, it's perfect to use both holy and ice damage. And when it comes to the imbues in this area, I have uh, stage 1 mana, stage 2 crit and vampirism. And when you go to this area in the lower level ranges, this area is really, really crowded of monsters. It's sometimes hard to get by the small passengers because there are so much monsters. But once you start to hit a little bit harder, gaining some levels and distance fighting, this area becomes much smoother um, because these creatures have kind of low HP. Uh, it will also be helping if you have some prey and charms. And if you have the possibility, don't go for a Warsinger bow if um, you're using diamond arrows. There are better options with Rift bow and Mycological bow. With magic level 29 and distance 94 with equipment. I was pulling around 2kk experience per hour at 150% with no prey, no boost and no charm. And I was barely pulling even. And that is kind of decent in my opinion considering the distance and the low amount of imbues. But hunting here at the level range of 170, I felt a little bit low level. Uh, I think it was a combination of the level, no charm and pretty bad distance fighting which made this hunting area impossible, especially uh, with not having a rift bow or a mycological bow and no charm or praise. But we're back here after taking around 30 more levels and fixing a new bow and also putting wound on the werehyenas and dodge on the shamans. Uh, now we have much better damage output and we are a little bit safer with the more continuity in damage. Uh, especially the wound charm is helping us with plenty of damage since we have double proc with the arrows and a spell option. And when it comes to damage, Werehyenas is the biggest damage dealer with physical, death and poison. And experience with wound and dodge. I had 4kk experience per hour at 225%. And when it came to hunting this area, I tried to stay to the south as much as possible because it's here we have uh, the biggest pulls. But I believe uh, if I just had like 30 more in distance. This area will be really easy and generally uh, most paladin which you level in this level range should have at least this 100 and most likely 110 plus at least if you have visited the Shar Bazaar to buy a character with a decent uh, distance fighting. But this character is brand new on a new server and this is pretty much the reason why this hunting area is so hard. Uh, and also the reason why I do not have an rift bow, which you should have. Considering that I'm going with profit with this kind of character, uh, I believe that everyone should be going with plenty of profit in this area. Uh, and if I just had a little bit better skills and better imbuement, I believe I will be making crazy amount of profit. And you could also wait to um, 
having some moonlight crystals in this hunting area as well to make some extra profit. But still, this is the best area when you check experience and profit ratio, which I sh can be getting in any kind of hunting area. Just look at Hero Cave, um, the other were creatures in Edon or uh, Lava Lurkers. I can't hit this kind of experience and still have uh, profit. So, where hyenas is the area to go with double praise and charm. If you have the opportunity and want to level quick as a solo paladin or solo mage. Anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. Happy charming, happy hunting and I will see you guys in the next video.